Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's D-A-B, and welcome to my Earthbound LP, my favorite game of all time. Go ahead and let the demo roll. Oh my goodness, yeah, that, that amazing intro, the aliens attacking, Earthbound separated as two words, almost like a callback to when Mother was supposed to be brought out in America, and it was Earthbound with two words. Oh man, full disclosure, this is going to sound really silly. By the point of this recording, I have completely recorded the entire game. And you're probably like, but Austin, how the hell did you do that if you're on part one? Well, I went to edit, and I found out that all this time later, my capture decided it wanted to screw up on me. And part one was rendered useless, so I'm having to re-record it. So that way when we get to part two, when levels don't match up properly, you'll have an explanation. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the demo now. I said, now. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to... Oh. Um. I didn't know that saved. Okay, we're going to delete this. Yes. Okay, start new game. You're going to put the text on fast. Keep it stereo. Okay, now you have a bunch of options here. You got plain flavor, mint flavor, strawberry flavor, Banana flavor, peanut flavor, but I'm basic and boring, so I was just stuck with the plane. Alrighty, now this is just how I play most RPGs. Pokemon obviously doesn't count. He has a name. He's Ness, so I just hit don't care because he is Ness. This is Paula. I don't. I hit I don't care because her name is Paula. This is Jeff, and this is Boo. This is our dog, King. Ness's favorite food is steak. Now, in the Japanese games, it's for PK Kiai, which is like a battle cry, is what Kiai means. And I only know that because um, I'm trying to remember what the class is in Dungeons and Dragons, but it gets an ability called Kiai Shout. But the only way they could kind of translate that was Rockin'. Okay. So we have Ness, Paula, Jeff, Pooh, our dog King, who doesn't come up very much. Our favorite food, steak, and the coolest thing is rockin', are we sure? Yup. Get ready for the wow. The year is 1990X. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. Fresh hell. And he just walks out of bed. Alright. Let's use the clapper when we get in the hallway, because nobody hits a light switch. Let's go check on Tracy. Tracy, what's up? Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I mean, a little bit. Gotta snag this, though, just to be safe. Get that cracked bat. There we go. Just play through the entire game. Forgets how to equip weaponry. Okay, fun little bit of trivia really quick. The only um, texture they have for this is for it to be daylight outside, so they just put those shades over top of it because it's supposed to be night. Some Mom? What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out, of, or at least go change out of your jammies before you go. Okay, now time wasted to go back downstairs. But we got her. Don't go. Damn it. 
That's all right. We got a baseball bat now. We're good to go. Even though there's a big old crack in it. Gives a four to our attack. What's up, King? Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? It was a meteor, dude. A loud crash. I guess I just kind of posted some spoilers there. What's up, officers? Onet police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just a... What? A meteorite that... Who? Fell. I just want to... What? Go home. Alright, he's having a panic attack. This path we need to take, though. Officer? Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. No can do, sir. No can do. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in the town. You kids are wandering around and... I'm hungry. I hate my job. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Probably not, because I was heading that way to see what it is. We're going to leave that behind for now. Even, you know, we're not at it yet, but... Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Well, I mean, n no, it's never really been brought up. I just know it's the middle of the night, but people use that as a very broad term for when it's really late. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Whoops! I almost told you about my, uh... By the way, Ness, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Get it? Exaggerate? And it's a lot... Yeah. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. How many meteorites have you seen that you know it's different? Shh, shh. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way. Whoops, my mistake. I meant, get out of my way. Of my way, get out. Okay, I screwed that up. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Not particularly. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Pokey, you're being a real pain in the ass. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops, I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Okay, we'll just head home for the night. Nope, leaving that behind. I'm going home now. Sorry I got in the way, officers. <sighs> Excuse me. Hey, Mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm sleepy. Later that night. I mean, how much later? It was already, like, middle of the night beforehand. Who is knocking at this time? Alright, we got that clapper going. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I don't know how anybody can have a particularly annoying knock. Hey, Mom. My land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Weird thing is, she'll always follow you wherever you go now. At least for this chunk. Bring her up and around. Get her stuck behind the table. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. King, I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Jesus Christ, Pokey. Hey, l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Uh, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely, as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police were guarding the meteorite landing so left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks? They're the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my best friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yes, yes, I will. 
Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack bat in Tracy's room can help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it! But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Just let me go fight in my jammies. King, wake up, buddy. Do you want me to go with you? I do. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. King joins us. Okay, Pokey, with your constantly a gate mouth. All right, you go out in front, and I'll fall at a safe distance. Let's get going. Ooh, Pokey joins us. Lego. Phone. Nah, I don't care. The phone is ringing. Answer it. At my house, my dad gets bent if I don't answer the phone. Within the first three rings. Ness answers the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited 30 bucks in your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Slamming the phone wasn't necessary, but alright. Let's go find Pokey's little brother. Um, I don't want to deal with the crows. They do a lot of damage at this point. There's a dog, though. Yeah. I, I know this is stupid to do right at the beginning. Crows will mess you up. They do a lot of damage. Walk away and hope the crow despawns. Yeah, you ready to fight me? Can I sneak around? I did. You had a nice. Yeah, I'll fight a snake. Snakes are wimps. Beat the crap out of him. That's a good solid damage. Thank you, King. Alright. One experience. Awesome. That was helpful. Um, that's not, however. I mean, it would be. I think we need four experience for the first level up. Wow, this is gonna really suck if we die in... Good job. Good job, King. It's gonna really suck if we die in the first fight. Or before we even have a real fight. What a wandering dog now. Those things are good for experience at this point in the game. Guess I'll fight the crow! Now, you miss a lot at this point in the game. Just beat the shit out of him. See what I mean? Yeah, you miss a lot. Okay, I don't have anything for him to steal. And they do a shit ton of damage. Good. Take him out. Okay, he's got a grin. Stop missing! Oh my god. I really don't want to die. Thank you, King. Good job. Okay, Crow's dead. We get a level? We do. Okay. Now, at level 2, you'll automatically always get Life Up Alpha. Use it. It will be your friend. Okay, awesome. Gonna come over here and get a bread roll. That'll be handy. If I don't, you know, burn it. What's up, liar? Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard the child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Alright, good job, Lark. If I knew it, this place was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. King, what the... Okay. Caution. There's still lots of fires burning here, and there... It's hot. Picky. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're... Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one is the real big brother. Picky joins you. Ness. 
Do you hear a buzzing sound? That sounds like a bee flying around? I'll say yes. I don't, but yes, you can hear it. Now you can. A bee I am? Not. I am from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness, which won't come out for a good many years from now. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the Chosen Boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock, and will reveal a path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus Monster's plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now. Do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? I did. Don't repeat it. Thank you for listening to my long story. You're as exceptional as I expected you to be. Alright, we got Buzz Buzz. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not in this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart's almost pounding right out of my chest. Okay, let's get home. Um, in interest of time, I'm gonna cut any unnecessary battles right now, too. Because we're bound to fight something on the way. Or maybe not. Maybe the enemies just don't spawn right now. You know, it's funny, while I'm recording this, like, there's locusts buzzing around outside that I don't think my camera's gonna pick up. But I just think of buzz buzz. Oh my god. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Starman Jr. Um, just bash away. Because Buzz Buzz automatically gives you the psychic shield. Alright, we all got shields. We won't even hurt him. Like, we're not gonna do jack. And his fire attack will reflect. Oh, it just makes it disappear. Just keep bashing away at him. Look at that Buzz Buzz did that kind of damage. Fire still won't hurt us. Our shield makes the fire disappear. Keep bashing at him. Now, I think it'll start to reflect at this point. Because it's stronger. Hey, good job, Peggy. Reflect now? Nope, just makes it disappear. Come on. Damn. Okay, Starman Jr. was defeated. I'm pretty sure you can get the final blow in that fight. I think I've done it before, but you don't get any more experience than that. Uh, not a bad level up at all. Not that it's really going to matter for us, because I don't remember what level I am in part two at this point. Whew! I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. I've noticed that. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, let's get Picky home. The big old house. Now, this is Lardna Minch and Pokey's father, Aloysius. Where in the same hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Hello, Aloysius. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Now, in the English version, it's supposed to sound like he's just screaming at them, but in the Japanese version, it's really clear he's wailing on them. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. And because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty with their massive home. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Buzz Buzz, no. 
Yay! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. And just like that, mighty Buzz Buzz, who was able to kill a Starman Super. Ugh. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See? You. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? I do. All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And, oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. <sighs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Soundstone. You can record the melodies from your, the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Did you want to hear the story one more time? No, that, that's fine, Buzz Buzz. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. We get the sound stone, it sounded way too happy, and Buzz Buzz is gone. Must have been pretty late because now it's morning. Alright, let's get home to mom. Oh, but wait. This will not be the last time this gentleman meets us on our journey. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles! I love it. Whoa, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Now, if I talk, to, if I forget to talk to my mother in between here and there, I, I don't remember what I originally did in part one right now. I guess I should have watched it all the way through. But that is where I'm going to call this part. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.